The auxiliary view of seat stays and chain stays has been enhanced for BikeCAD version 10. The display mode of the auxiliary views used to be wireframe at all times. Now the auxiliary view assumes the same display mode as the rest of the drawing. The rear wheel used to be displayed as a faint line drawing. Now we can use the wheel display toggle button to display the rear wheel in full color as a faint line drawing or not at all. The display of the cassette, the chain, the disc rotor, fenders, rear wheel, cranks, and shoe can all be controlled within the auxiliary view dialog box. We can show these components in the auxiliary view regardless of whether or not they are shown in the side view. The cranks can be shown with the drive side crank oriented forward or backward. The chain will be displayed in whichever cog and chain ring combination has been selected in the derailleur section of the drivetrain dialog box. Before changing those values, note that the dimensions rear chain line front chain line, and chain line offset can all be displayed in the general tab within the stays auxiliary view tab in the dimensions dialog box. As we shift from one chain ring to another and from one cog to another, we can see these dimensions updating. The current gear combination is also highlighted in red in the gearing graph dialog box. Other auxiliary view dimensions related to the drivetrain include those in the sprockets tab, as well as several dimensions in the Cranks tab, which can be found inside the Components tab. In the Cranks section of the Drivetrain dialog box, we can now directly enter a value for the W3 dimension. You'll find that dimension paired with the F dimension. Leaving this dimension set to F means that as we increase the Q value of the Cranks, the Cranks shift apart as a unit. If we leave this dimension set to W3, then increasing Q causes the crank arms to shift apart, but the chain rings will remain in the specified position.